What's up, guys? Um, oh, oh, please don't tell me that. No, I'm not bleeding. Oh, I thought I was bleeding on, on this side, but I'm not. That's great. Hi, guys. Um, what's up? How are you doing? Um, today's Monday the 27th, and yeah, we're going we're, we're gonna to discuss that here in a minute. Um, Monday the 27th, um, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I might have just smoked a little bit of weed just to... Um, ease my anger issues, because I was just getting very angry at some video games, because people are idiots. People are idiots, I will tell you that. So I decided to instead play Pokemon Go, and um, catch myself this awesome Mantine. He's, uh, I've already raised him a little bit. He's, uh, he's pretty cool, right? He's, he just, hold on, hold, do you want to hear the sound? Hold on. Here, okay. Here's this. Here's the sound. Oh, this is so cute. Yeah, okay, anyways. So, I uh, caught myself a mantine and smoked a bowl. And, uh, anyways, my nose is itchy as fuck right now. And I don't like it. So, today is the 27th. My appointment for my doctor was scheduled on the 27th. Guess what I missed? <laughs> because I thought that it was tomorrow. <laughs> This guy! I know, nobody ever does this anymore. This guy, like, that's that's kind of a Fonzie thing, isn't it? It's, hey, like, it's, I, I, I can't remember. I honestly can't, so. But, you know what, I decided to make a video, um, because part of the reason, oh, ew, oh, gross. I really, uh, I really need to start, like, doing that before I get on camera. Like, just go do a quick check of, like, here, 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 you know, stuff. So, uh, oh god, this fucking itch is like crazy. I gotta put some neosporin on it. So, um, being in my high state, I just decided, you know what, let's let's go ahead and take over break from video games for a little while. That'll help with, we need to cut our nails really bad. They're starting to grow in. Um, that will help with, with, uh, you know, wait, what was I talking about? See, this is the, these are the memory issues that I suffer from, is that I will start having a conversation, I will be speaking, I will forget where my train of thought is halfway through the sentence nowadays. I never had that happen before my diagnosis. And I hate it. I fucking hate it. Because pe cause I had, like, it's usually at a point where I'm, like, so into a conversation that I'm, like, I'm going to... To, I'm gonna win this conversation. I, when when it, we're arguing, where you know we disagree on something, I'm gonna win this. And then I get halfway through that last sentence, and it's just like, uh, and I freeze. And my competition is just like, see, you don't know anything. You don't know. You don't know shit. Okay, fine, whatever. I I, I had something, but I lost it. Anyways, so I decided to make a video about responsibility um, because there's a lot of people not taking responsibility and. Bill Mayer uh, actually talked about it on a show, apparently, this Saturday, and I hate, right, like, I hate TV guest shows, you know, like, where a star comes out, talks about random shit from the internet, from, you know, around the United States, from around the world, from around the universe, sure, let's talk about, like, Xenon X33, so I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Anyway, anyways, so I feel like, I feel like that's, it's like a really good angle for me. Like, hi. That's that. I should start introducing. And that'll be my Donald. My Donald Trump. I'll be like, hi. <laughs> uh, anyways, so um, Bill Mayer was talking about President Trump, and um, you know, the first picture that he showed was of a guy holding a sign that said, "I made a mistake." And it was perfectly spelled, and the only thing that Bill Mayer could comment about him is that we need more, more of those people. We need more of those people, you know, who voted Trump saying, Shit, I fucked up. I went with a two-party system rather than going with a third party, so that way we can open up our democracy to more viewpoints. But they just said, no, I'm going to vote Trump. Because they don't want her in the office. I don't want either one of them in the office, honestly. They're, they're both terrible. She's killed people, he's killing people. Um... She's corrupt. He's corrupt. Um, anyways, so, Bill Mayer. I'm, I don't want to get off topic today. I don't. Uh, Bill Mayer. And yes, I am itching my balls constantly. They're so big. They're so big. They're like, yeah. Anyways, somebody's coming home. Somebody's coming home, I guess. I don't know. 
Anyways, so uh, I just heard the door jiggle. Like I don't. Know. So, <sighs> Bill Maher was talking about responsibility and how Donald Trump isn't taking responsibility for the things that he said on his campaign. Basically, Trump said Mexico will pay for the wall. Now the U.S. taxpayers are paying for the wall. Trump said that he'll repair, repeal Obamacare and put in something even better. You can't see it, but my hand actually like lowered with my mouth as I as I frown. Mm. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about the Obama, the Obamacare, because quite frankly, that's a disaster. <laughs> you talked about making education great again for the United States. Now we have somebody who wants to privatize it in your committee. In your committee, committee, committee. God, this is what happens when I'm high. Fuck, I can't speak. <sighs> I can't spoke when I'm high. Hand me that crack pipe, bit in Billy Jim. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, the worst that I've done is weed and whippets. Whippets. Oh God, whippets. Me and my friends in North Carolina, we had a good time with those. Fuck. If you don't know what they are, Google it. Don't do it. It will fuck you. You will wake up to Lady Gaga's bad romance on repeat on your TV. The entire music video. And you'll look at your friend and say, what the fuck happened last night? And that wasn't whippets. That was actually weed. Fuck. <laughs> but it would, you know, something similar would happen. You'll wake up in a toilet, sitting in it, like, lid and, and seat up, so your ass can fit. Unless you have a petite ass, then it may be. Maybe if you have a small ass? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. So, responsibility. Trump is not taking responsibility for the things that he said. And he's not taking responsibility for things that he's done. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, it started getting... It has an autofocuser, so um, it slowly focuses on the part that's actually, like, doing shit. Like, moving. Like, so I should probably, like... Yeah, see? No, no, I just, like, I just got clear. That's great. And now it's starting to pixelate again. Come on, dude. Oh, can we turn off the autofocus? He's not taking responsibility. And, you know, we we who are actually intelligent kind of saw that coming. We were like, he's not going to do any of this. He's he's going to fuck you guys over. He's a con man. I mean, look at how many people he's conned in, in America, you know, doing jobs for him and shit. God, that hotel guy. The guy who designed the rotten Taj Mahal for him. Fuck. Trump fucked him over. Like, he did, like, $3 million worth of work building that place, and... Trump basically gave him a check for like fifty thousand dollars, or yeah, fifty thousand dollars, and said that's all that you're getting for three million dollars of work. I mean, so obviously a con man is going to con the people who believe in him, and that's what he's doing. So what I'm trying to get at is Bill Mayer's right. We do need more of those people who are sitting there saying, "Hey, I fucked up. What do I need to do to fix this?" Because quite frankly, we've already been trying to fix it us independents and mostly Demo Demo I, don't, I don't I don't care about Democrats anymore. Democrats are fucking... They're shit. I hope that Bernie runs in 2020. Oh, well that's why. I have the game open in the background so that's causing the autofocus to just like go out of whack. All of this back here is like blurry though. That's horrible. I can't see my awesome fucking skateboard that I got from my tattoo artist for this guy. Um, so, <laughs> we do need more people sitting there saying, we fucked up, and you need to come and help us fix shit. You can't just sit back and expect other people to do it for you, because at some point, people are going to get tired, and the fight will stop, and then we'll call in for reinforcements, and none of you come. We're fucked at that point. We won't get through this. We're not going to get through the next four years. We're, we're going to either impeach him take him out of office and his cabinet and his vice president and hand the, hand the presidency over to somebody who's competent, such as Bernie Sanders. Nothing there. I just, it was just itching. It was, yeah, it still is. Oh, God. I need sweet tea. I need... My glass is empty. It sucks. I would go away, but I don't want to do that. We need more people doing that. And that's that. It's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. It's hard to admit that you were wrong. It's really hard. Um, 
over the years, you know, ever since, you know, the second death, I realized that I can be wrong because I'm not infallible. I am very, very fallible. I have my flaws, such as attending orgies and getting drunk. That's probably not a good idea, but hey, it's my fallacy. It's who I want to be. So, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for a lot of people to admit that, hey, I fucked up, but you got to do it. You gotta, you know what, you need to, and you need to, you know, you don't need to tell us that you fucked up. You need to tell your constituents. I need a room full of Republicans and one just sits there and says, you know what, guys, I think we fucked up. And then the rest of them kind of just, it just coalesces from, you know, just, <laughs> uh, out from that one through the entire crowd. And it's, it's like light bulbs going on over their heads. Now, I've dealt with this in my life before, where somebody couldn't admit to things. And that would be Monsieur X. Yes, Glenn, we're talking about you, you fucking titanic douche. Um, my ex would... I never heard him say sorry once over our entire relationship. Over the four and a half years that we were together, I did not hear him say sorry once. Every fight ended with me apologizing profusely over and over again and then buying him some things to make him feel better. So, responsibility isn't just for people who are important. It goes for everyone. If you hit somebody in a car wreck, you need to be responsible. You need to report it to the authorities. You shouldn't just run away. Oh my god, this fucking... My nose itches like crazy right now. And I'm just... Oh. I do have another appointment on Wednesday where we can reschedule my medication appointment again. We'll have to reschedule it. I feel so bad. Like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk in Wednesday and just like when I see my therapist, I'm just my my counselor. I'm just gonna sit there and like just give her the puppy dogs. Can't see him, but and she'll just like look at me and be like, "What's going on?" And I'll be like, "Oh, I have something bad to tell you." <laughs> God, it feels like I'm back in high school coming out to my stepmother. I still remember that story. Um, I had gotten a ticket and I got home uh, at like nine at night because it was the it was a book release and I was staying out till midnight. And she had trusted me enough to let me stay out till midnight, which was like it was a huge step for us. It was a huge step for me and her. Um, she finally recognized me as an adult at that point because, quite frankly, I've had the mind of an adult since I was about twelve. Um, helping raise your younger sisters does that, kind of. I mean, you know, you, you learn. You, you learn things quick. Because eventually you fail, and then that's when you learn. But, um... So, that night, I decided to go back to her and tell her that, I, that I'm gay. I, I'm a gay man. I love it. I love being gay. I fucking love it and hate it at the same time. Um, I hate being a gay man with HIV. Let's go with that. Um, that, that's, uh, it's, and it's, it's like I've said multiple times to multiple people, it's not the virus that's going to kill me, it's going to be the stigma. Uh, ah. Ah. He's 25 miles away now, so I don't care. Um, just trying to clear. So I got home and walked up to her room and said, I have two things to tell you, and I'm not sure you're going to like either one of them. And it took me 45 minutes to come out to her, and she just like looked at me and was like, that's all right. That's cool. I kind of knew already. I've known since I met you, at f like, since you were four. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> um, why did you not tell me? Why did you not just, like, what? I wanted, I wanted, I wanted a parent to do that. I wanted a parent to come to me and be like, so, I've noticed you've not been dating any girls. I know this, you haven't really shown a whole lot of interest in girls, so do you think you're gay? And like, that would, I think that that's how every parent should work. Every parent should be honest about, about who their child is and be honest with them about the, they need to be honest with the child. And that's taking responsibility. It's taking, I'm trying to wrap up. I really am. Um, I know that I'm rambling at this point and that would be the pot. <laughs> It's nice. It's, it's it's a nice little it's a little one. So, and my nostrils are cl clogging at this point. So, um, so a lot of people, everybody out there, everybody out there needs to take responsibility for their fuck ups. It's hard. 
it's really, really hard. It, it is. With my roommate, like, earlier today, I made mac and cheese, and I left the milk on the stove, and he came over, and he's, he looked at me, and he's like, this was on the stove. And I was like, shit, fuck. He told me not to put things on the stove. Fuck, 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 fuck. And the thing is that I'm my own worst critic, so when somebody makes me feel bad, I feel ten times worse. So, anyways, take responsibility for your shit. That's the moral of the story today. And everybody, please be gold. Or stay gold. Stay gold. We'll go with stay gold. Sorry, I, like I paused there like it was ending.